Hey folks, so I've just made my way over to Anglesey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will take you along for a whistle stop tour that I did of Anglesey in Wales back in 2022. So let's see what that is to see. <laughs> Hey folks, so I've just made my way over to Anglesey um, from Dengby. And I'm going to be here for probably two or three days depending on the weather and how much of the items I've uh, marked off on Google wanting to see, I get to see. Uh, so it's quite a remote, remote little site that I'm on again. Um, it's surrounded by farms. You can see behind me there's a pasture here with sheep and little lambs. So I'm going to get the camera out soon and go and take some pictures of them. Um, it's just me and one other van on site at the moment. So very, very, very quiet out here. Just the sounds of nature, which is lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, so yeah, it was the second time towing the bike on the Hydro Trail. Uh, hydro Trail, sorry. If you haven't seen that, I'll link up above to the video where I show the new setup. Um, at the moment, I'm pooing myself when I tow the van, when I tow it, constantly keeping an eye on. I've got the reversing camera constantly on in the cab so that I can keep an eye on the bike if anything comes loose, etc., etc. But we got here safely. I mean, it wasn't a long distance. It was about 60 miles between the two campsites that I travelled today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the bike off the trailer now and head out and see what I can see today. The clouds are not very, as you can see up there, looking rather ominous. Um, so I'm just going to check the weather report before I head off too far from base. Uh, but hopefully I can get out today and go and do some initial exploring. Right, come along for the travels. So Anglesey is an island based off the northwest coast of Wales mainland. Um, it is the largest island in England and Wales at around 260-ish square miles. It's connected to mainland Wales and the rest of the UK via two bridges, the Manet Suspension Bridge and the Britannia Bridge. So as, as some of you will know, if you've been following my journey so far, is that I'm very interested in history um, and the evolution of humanoids. Um, so Anglesey has over around 120 ancient monuments on the island. So it's a very, uh, you know, if you are into history and to see how people lived in years gone by, Anglesey is definitely somewhere you should should look to visit. Um, I only, as I say, I had a whirlwind um, tour of Wales uh, of Anglesey, so I think I only spent four days there, which and two of those days were rained out, so I really didn't get to see as much as I had hoped to. So I'm definitely going to be heading back um, to cross off more of those historical and ancient sites from my list. But yeah, as I say, if, if history and ancient history especially and ancient architecture is your thing you're not going to be disappointed if you go to Anglesey
Tbilisi was an important center of Druidic religion and learning in the in the ancient times and across the island you can see testament to the Dru Druid occupation on the island. Anglesey has a population of around 71,000 people, um, which makes it a great location to buy if you like to be surrounded by open space and field and nature. Um, it is also home to the RAF Valley Air Base that uh, trains pilots for the Royal Air Force. Um, and there is a particular valley in Wales, I can't think of its name off the top of my head, I think it might be Sonic Valley or something like that it's called, where you can stand on top of a hill and photograph or view the aeroplanes as they fly below you through the valley. Um, it's, it makes for some spectacular photography if photography is your thing. Um, and even if it's not your thing, you just like aircrafts or something truly unique where you're looking down at these aircrafts and can see the, the pilots in the cockpit, then something to look into. Right folks, I'm going to leave you there to enjoy the rest of the video um, and I hope that it's given you some insight into what's available to be seen on Anglesey and that if you find yourself in north or the west of Wales that it's some place you might want to go and visit. There are a lot of campsites on the, on the island also for those who are looking to camp or travel via motorhome or camper van etc. So get the search for sites up and it will show you where all the sites are on the island. Right, until next time, keep well, be safe and be happy. Cheers. <laughs>